this is just a couple of my boxes of random call parts that I've saved from over the years and years. I'm looking for something particular, but I keep finding things that I forgot I had. These, oh, I'd say there's a hundred or so in there, are crow call tone boards. They need a read, but I'll deal with that later. Let me see. What have we here? Ah! Coyote tone board. I make my own these days. Mm, what else we got in here? Let me see. Oh! Deer call parts. I'm gonna need to order some more of those. Hmm. What's down in the bottom? Oh, yeah. I haven't made one of these in years. About ten years. That's a cow elk tone board. Never could figure out how to make one out of wood, but I will someday. What we got down here? Hmm. Pretty sure those are owl hooter tone boards. They never impressed me either. I have another way to make them now. Quit using these a long time ago. Mm, two and a half inch slate. I thought I was out of that. I like three inch better anyway. Oh wait, there's what I was looking for in the first place. <laughs> Burr oak acorn caps from Texas. These are real acorn caps. Let's get busy. Drilled a hole in it, covered it with UV resin, put it in my homemade UV chamber. <laughs> it's made out of a cat litter box from the store. We coated it inside and out so that if it got wet, it wouldn't hurt anything. Now we do a lot of work on something that'll never be seen. The inside. Yes, I hunt and I trap and do various things. I've been doing this since 1987. There wasn't any internet for me back then. Oh, at work we had this screen. I think they called it DOS mode. It was just a bunch of words in green. But as the internet came along, I quit selling in bait and tackle shops and I started selling on the internet a little bit. I'm retired now, but as a hunter and a trapper, when I make a game call, I want to know it works. And the squirrel calls you buy in the store, not so good. And I have had big companies try to figure out how I make this particular squirrel call. Well, I guess now they'll kind of know, but what's on the inside is what matters. And at the end of this video, we'll show you that it works. Stick with me as we try to carve the inside of an acorn cap um, that's not round. <laughs> that's kind of tough. But when we glue it together, we're going to use, it's kind of like shoe goo. That way, if something ever goes wrong with it, I can get it apart and fix it if need be. Just in case. There's our template. Almost there. There we go just needs a tone board. Oh wait, we need the nut. I figured it's only fitting that a squirrel call be made out of a nut. 
great big acorn can't hurt it, eh? Let's make the nut. Before we make the nut, we're going to have to turn this thing around on the mandrel so we know the nut fits. It's a really snug fit. That is only a sixteenth of an inch thick, so I got to be careful not to break it. That side's a little thicker so we can get rough with it. There we go. Now up in there I got to make a curve so that our nut will slip up inside the acorn cap. Here we go. A lot of work that will never be seen for the squirrel call that actually works. Here we've drilled the hole for our nut, found a real pretty piece of walnut to make it out of. It doesn't look like much yet, but it will. Then we're going to go outside and show you that this thing works. I did lose some footage, been having some SD card troubles, but I think I've got it worked out now. And we're going to start turning the nut while it's in the chuck. We're going to finish it on a mandrel. Then let's go try this thing on a squirrel. It's a lot of work, but this part gets seen. <laughs> Hopefully by a squirrel. I knew the squirrel was there somewhere, but I couldn't see him. And just like a squirrel call should work, he showed himself. Then he saw me, and he froze. And as long as he could see me, and I kept making noise, 
be held real still for me. If I was hungry with an air rifle or a 22, he'd be in big trouble. As long as the good Lord lets me, we're going on another adventure, probably trapping, as I look back on this bobcat carrying it in the middle of nowhere. I hope y'all come along, and if you want to see some trapping videos, subscribe and check out my old ones on the playlist. Thanks for watching.